Hey guys, it's Clay with Minute Ministry. So, got a minute. Um, I was overwhelmed the other day. Um, I was sitting and I was reading the Word and um, I just kind of got this overwhelming feeling inside of me that this Word, this Bible, was written for me. And a lot of times we can think that. We can think, oh, the Bible was written for me. It was written, you know, as something that God wanted to show me. You know, but we also kind of don't believe that. We believe it was written for everyone. But I got this overwhelming feeling like, no, 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 no. God wrote this for me. This is a love letter to me. This is specifically to me. It's kind of like whenever you see those shirts that say, um, God loves everyone, but I'm his favorite. That It's the same way. I just got this overwhelming feeling like, yo, oh, I need to be interpreting these words like Jesus is telling me something right now. And he wanted to tell me so bad. He wrote this for me. And it's just for me, because there is revelation in there that is just for you. Your relationship with God shouldn't look anything like mine. And because of that, your interpretation and your relationship with the scriptures should be different. And you have been written a letter, a love letter. And it's unlike any love letter that you've ever had before. And God has wrote it just for you. So, and whenever we take that, and we add that to the idea that as the church, we were called to be a part of the church and that there is a purpose that we have that no one else can fill. God wrote us a letter that's just for us. All of a sudden, we can become overwhelmed knowing that Jesus died for me. It doesn't matter about everyone else, not in this moment. This is all about me. And he wrote this letter for me. He called me for the purpose just for me. He died for me. And all of this just kind of, mm, it should take you to a new place. So I want you to just sit and just marvel at the moment that God, when God was on the cross, he was thinking about you. And I don't mean that general. I mean that specifically. He was seeing your face that he was writing this, that this Bible was put together for your benefit. And just marvel and, and believe that God is all-knowing, all-powerful. He made you with a purpose that was going to fit so perfectly that, of course, the Scripture could be written just for you. There's at least, there's verses in there that are tied together just for you. Thanks for taking a minute, guys.